Hey guys, welcome to Rogue Vault. Uh, this is a new tutorial about uh, how to configure your Kali Linux 2020.1b from uh, Nate, uh, you know, desktop environment to KD desktop environment. So if you guys uh, have uh, not watched my other video, which I have uh, recently uploaded, the video is about installing Kali Linux 2020.1b. Uh, mate environment in VM where workstation so uh, just go to my channel uh, YouTube channel you can search rogue world uh, in my YouTube channel and uh, you can go to the videos and in the videos I've recently uploaded uh, how to install Kali made desktop environment 2021 uh, B on a virtual machine so it's a VMware where I've installed this particular uh, operating system and uh, I've downloaded Kali Linux 2021B and uh, the mate environment is quite different from the KD, the regular environment which uh, you guys see uh, whenever you install Kali Linux by default. So now we have different environment uh, you know which makes Kali more uh, vibrant to customization so uh, let's quickly see this rolling so when, when you log in so you can see on the screen now that uh, this is a Kali uh, uh, mate uh, environment so if you can see this uh, these are uh, you know the different views so you don't have that pleasing graphical user interface uh, with Kali and it's quite uh, different now so uh, you can just watch this video how to install made desktop environment Kali Linux 2020 and uh, so to quickly start with uh, I'm going to power on my virtual machine uh, which I used for installation of Kali Linux 2021b made environment so I'm going to uh, resume this machine and show you guys how the mate environment looks like and how do we upgrade the mate environment from uh, to KD environment so currently this virtual machine is configured with uh, Kali Linux mate desktop environment I'm going to upgrade it to a regular Kali Linux KD based environment so let's power on this machine so uh, I powered on the virtual machine and uh, let's quickly select Kali GNU and uh, It's quite a uh, bit slow but yeah it's loading up because I have not given uh, ample of uh, resources to my virtual machine so I just want to quickly tell you guys that in uh, the version the Kali Linux uh, version 2020.1b uh, onwards when you install these version of uh, operating system you will not be able to create or unlock the root account it means you have to create a non-privileged account uh, just like how Windows is following, uh, not giving you direct administrator access while installing. Post installation, you may configure it the same way in Kali Linux. The root access is not given at the start, so you'll be asked to create a non root account. So, initially, I used to type root, now, type the user account and the password. So uh, we are in the desktop. It is not that pleasing graphical user interface just like how a typical Kali Linux operating system looks like before 2020.1b mate version. So you can actually see, uh, you know, it's kind of a not that pleasing one. And uh, so to access terminal, we have to go to the system tools and go to mate terminal. This is where we can access the terminal and this is what I was talking about you have the user account and this is dollar symbol means that you're not a root account so every time if you want to uh, run a command you need to definitely give sudo as a permission for an example I'm going to run without sudo now if config so bash if config command not found so sudo if config then you have to enter the root the sudo's password that is the user's password 
so now you get the if configuration out so every time you run a uh, command you may need to uh, you know have sudo added in the prefix and also you can see I have internet connectivity hopefully I have internet connectivity so uh, the IP address is shown visible if we want you can just go to the uh, internet and open Firefox so fire Firefox up and uh, you know check if there is an internet connectivity let's do this so uh, yes we do uh, have internet connectivity now so um, I'm just gonna close this up now and uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, first thing uh, we're going to change from mate environment to KDE environment so I'm going to uh, deploy a command over here so this is the command so you will find this command in the videos description please go through the description so you can copy this command and you can run it so the command is apt get install kali default kali root login desktop base kde full so the problem is if i hit enter i will not be able to run this command successfully as you know as i said that we are in a non super user i mean non root user so we have to go with sudo before executing this command without the sudo the command will not work so then you have to enter the password uh, if asked and so this is an apt update so it's not asking for you a you know a password so now you can see it is so here you can see need to get so you need additionally allocate uh, the operating system after this particular process needs around 3200 113 MB of additional disk space so ensure that when you are installing Kali Linux you give ample of disk space for Kali to further upgrade itself in the future so do you want to continue it's, I say yes so this is going to be quite a, a hectic process it's going to be a very long process because uh, this huge amount of uh, you know Kali updates needs to be downloaded so I will just fast forward it by pausing and you know resuming video so that it quickly happens on this session So on this uh, default display manager, there are two options to select from. One is like DM, and the second one is SDDM. So I would uh, select SDDM uh, as a default display manager. This can be changed in the later stage as well. So I'll go with SDDM. So as you can see the configuration wizard is uh, completed so uh, it has run through uh, the sequence so now what we need to do is uh, quickly uh, reboot
so now for that you can see uh, this is just like uh, two different user accounts so this one root if you know the password we can enter the password and login so we have not set anything for the root and we have few options here made desktop plasma xfc session default x session so uh, we as uh, the session which we will go with is xf xfce session and uh, we'll log in with the user account i'll enter the password and log in so now that you can see uh, you know slowly the the xfce uh, kd desktop is getting um, on and you'll, you'll be seeing uh, pretty much uh, you know good amount of uh, pleasing graphics just like how uh, Kali Linux uh, works out so as you can see here over over here that you know there is uh, a, a Kali Linux uh, a graphical user interface and you can see now that the start menu which used to be a different start menu has actually changed and we have uh, different uh, you know graphics uh, graphical level interface and you'll have a terminal over here so you can actually see terminal um, on this screen and here we go so so you can see the terminal over here right and uh, it's typically the you know kind of a default uh, you know Linux Kali Linux graphical user interface uh, wizard so uh, that's exactly how we uh, can upgrade uh, from mid desktop to uh, Kali Linux KDE XFCE desktop so um, so that's that's the uh, concept about this video so I hope uh, that was informative if suppose uh, while installing if you are not selected uh, SSD and you selected some other option still you can uh, work you have a workaround so all you need to do is change the uh, graphical uh, graph display manager uh, in case if you guys have any problems uh, you know upgrading and you face any problems upgrading uh, please do uh, leave your problem in the comment section so that I can address it uh, you know for you and uh, that will be all for the video today and uh, keep learning. It's Rogue Wall signing off. Bye.